What's up, Phantoms? And happy Halloween! At this time, we're gonna we're gonna review Halloween 2. We did Halloween the first time, and we did the Rob Zombie Halloween. But this time, this year, we're gonna do the the original Halloween 2, um, 1981. And it started right from the end of the first one when um Lori Lori tells the kids to go ask for help. Yeah. And the kids run for help, and Lori's still in the room. And Dr. Loomis goes upstairs and this is the part when he shoots some like six times. Yep, and he finds the out <laughs> the imprint of the what is it of the what is it, of his body on the yard. Yeah. And he runs out and he and he's freaking out. He's telling everyone, Where is he? Where is I like how the neighbor comes out and he's like he's like, Is this another trick? Because I'm tired <laughs> of this trick or treating and this and that. <laughs> I like how it just starts right from the beginning. So you know like right away you know what's going on. Um, they take Lori to the hospital because Lori um, is hurt. Um, they're still looking for Michael Myers. Michael Myers um, went to like this old people, like the, these older people's house to get the knife. Yep. And then they're watching um, Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, George Romero. <laughs> oh yeah. I like how he's falling asleep in George Romero movies on. <laughs> and then they go. Um, Michael Myers runs to um, a Amy, right? Her name is Amy, the sheriff's daughter. Yeah. Yeah, like she dies. Well, she's on the phone with a friend, and they were like, yeah, like, this Michael Myers already killed, like, four, four teens. I think it was, like, four teens. Yeah, she, the friend tells her to hey, turn on the radio, and you can hear, and she's like, holy crap, it's a, that happened a block away. For, uh, uh, what, what'd you say, Orange Grove Street? <laughs> yeah, Orange Grove Street. It's, like, a street away, one yeah. street away. Yeah. And uh, Michael Myers opens the door, and he hides. And then I got the way, like, um, Michael Myers just jumps out, like, he's a jack-in-the-box, even though he's, like, Six foot tall, bro. Like, how he does that? He's like, that, 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 was, that was pretty good. But the music is really good. I think that's what you said, and that what you like about the movie, like the what music is the tense of the music. The thing is, what I like, and I love all movies by John John Carpenter. There right. hasn't been one John Carpenter movie that I haven't liked. Going as far back, what is it? Uh, what is it? Christine, mm -hmm. and also The Fog. The Fog, yeah. And what is it? Not one that is a non horror movie. What is Escape from New York? Mm -hmm. What is it? All of them have, they make you, what is it? The music, he puts these, like, plays these chords on the synthesizer, and it makes, what is it that, like, so you jump, he pounds on the synth. Yeah. I like the chase scenes, especially for this one in Halloween 2. Yes. How every time the tick, it's like a ticking time bomb, like, tick, tick, tick. Like it's like a ticky tom bomb and it's all the suspense. Like when we were watching it, I was like I was like bouncing. I was like I'm over here anticipating. I was like, alright, let's go, let's go. Um, it's basically in the hospital. This is basically what this movie is set on is the hospital. Well Michael Myers is going around town killing people left to right. Um it's mainly in the hospital, um Lori's in um shock. Um her knee I think it's her ankle that is spring and like Jimmy it's cracked, actually. cracked, yeah, cracked, and the nurses are just trying to like calm down because all the stress is going around the town that he's out there. Everyone's freaking out. Um, They're like, "Where is he? Where is he at?" Because yeah, because one of the main things. So before, um, what is it? Getting to the hospital, there was one scene. I'm like, and it hits you, and you're like, "Damn!" Mm -hmm. They did it in one other movie. Um, what is it? Where it was an innocent person that died. Oh yeah. And what is it? It was an innocent person. That it's just a character in the movie. Mm -hmm. But the it was just a seventeen year old with a mask. Yeah. The same dress as Michael Myers. Dressed as Michael yeah. Myers. And, and he gets hit by a car. Wait. It he, was the cop car too. It was like a. It was like one of the sheriff's cars. Yeah, the cop. But he was like because he they thought it was Michael Myers. That's why they Romo because um Doctor Loomis was about to shoot them into the utter. The other deputy was like, no, 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 don't shoot him. <laughs> and then the car just runs into him hard with a, with a van and he like explodes. Like, the fire is, like, all over him. They're like, yeah. is it him? Is it him? And right away, I already knew it wasn't him because he had, like, a candy bag. He had, like, a candy bag. It's kind of weird because later on, the boys went from a party. They were looking for And they were looking for their friend. And they started freaking. Uh, Doctor Loomis was freaking out because he realized that that wasn't like yeah. that wasn't Michael Myers. That it was actually a boy. Because I think when they did the autopsy, the autopsy, 
And they were doing and dental stuff. They were getting the dentals, and the, the the autopsy guy was like, oh, no, this these teams are looking young. They're like 17 at least. Well, you you can't really turn because he was all, like, burnt. And they had uh, they had uh, Michael Myers' medical records that showed yeah. he had fillings. Mm-hmm. The, sev- the body that they found didn't. They didn't have no fillings at all. And it, I think that's why I love about John Carpenter movies. Real, There's real, a lot of detail. Real detail into stuff like this. I think that's why a lot of films always forget about the details of this film. I loved it. Like I said, Halloween is really my favorite franchise. I have the shirt. I have the sweat, I have the sweat jacket. I have the... I have everything of it. I love Michael Myers. I even have him on, on my Fortnite skin on Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, it, it's... He, what is it? Uh, going back to what is it? Yeah, what is it? There's a lot of... was it? This one, they really like... Yeah, it's simple setting. Mm-hmm. Main, like you said, mainly at the hospital. Yeah. But talk about... You can make a whole movie just from one place. Mm. And people will be scared to... Sh- For <laughs> shitting. Real. Scare the shit out of because they are they're freaking out because there's this man wearing a what is it a, it's Captain Kirk's face yeah Captain Kirk's face <laughs> spray painted and uh, <laughs> appliance white look up the details that is actually true yeah I, I have actually there is a video on YouTube that you can actually see the behind the scenes of how they got the mask and what what else mask they used before um that's really funny I liked it I always watch it all the time to figure out. Uh, it's really funny. I love it. It's really cool. And now it's a now it's a Halloween classic. Yeah. Now it's like now everyone talks about it. It's everywhere. And those people don't even realize the people that make those masks now just specifically for Michael Myers. They mm-hmm. don't realize it's you, you're copying Captain Kirk's face. Yeah. <laughs> it's Captain Kirk. Um the the uh, the kills are pretty like pretty oh, good on God. here. My favorite one is probably the. The therapy room with the water when the you know the e, oh. the, the ER guy and the nurse and they're about to get uh, they're about to get it on in the uh, fucking top tub basically yeah Michael Myers like puts it high boiling them boiling them and then they get out the ER guy gets out and he's trying to turn it off Michael Myers just comes out of nowhere and just strangle 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 him while the while the nurse is like trying to put everything back on. Bro, like, the nurse is over there, like, oh, I can't do this anymore. And then she's over there bite, licking and biting his fingers. I was like, oh. She doesn't realize it's Michael yeah. Myers' dirty-ass oh, hand. Dirty-ass hands. And then she turns and she, bro, he grabs her and just starts drowning her. Bro, her skin's, like, peeling off. Bro, I like the, the effects. Of- yeah, they're showing the, yeah, the, the effects were really good. Yeah. Um, I think they used what basically, like, glue? Glue, yeah, they use like, Elmer glue. To make so it has the effect of her skin peeling, yeah. And then uh, you also, I like that they keep going back and forth. They keep showing the gauge going back to scalding, yeah, going to danger, danger. And yeah, it, it says scalding on the side right there. Yeah, and that's where she just drops dead. There's a lot of, there's a lot of good effects in this movie. Oh yeah. And there's also the the plot is solid. The plot is solid because mm-hmm. there is um. Basically finding out that Michael Myers had broken into the hospital. Um, well, when the security guard, he leaves the radio with one of the nurses. Yeah. The nurse is asking, oh, I don't know how to work this thing. Mm-hmm. He just takes off. For a uh, idea. And he's on the radio saying, what is it? Hey, you need to get the sheriff down here to the hospital. Someone broke she into the storage. Yeah. And she can't hear it. The intense of the music for it, too, because you don't know where Michael Myers is because he's opening these doors. You don't even know what's going on until Michael Myers finally shows up and ends up... We don't even know if... Well, we already know he died already, but it doesn't show until way later. Until, like, a door is trying to escape the hospital, but that's way later. But, yeah, like, um, the intense of the music of this film, it really gets to you. It still gets to me to this, to this day, and I love that. I think that's the reason why I like Halloween's, because the music really, like... Really brings in the vibe and the and really the thrill of it because you don't know what's gonna happen next. You don't know what's coming, especially when that song is getting louder and louder. The intensity that you get to see in these films, it's really good. Like you don't really see films like that. Not these days. They just bump up the song really loud and and here's a jump scare. It makes it so like it's really obvious. But with John Carpenter, he made the music. He made his own music. He had his own personal studio that he was working with keyboards and synthesizers mm-hmm. and since this was his um 
already by now, like I think this one is fourth or fifth movie he had already done. Yeah. Other than the Halloween uh, franchise, was that he he really he was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy more keyboards yeah. and make better, make more music. He really amped up. It's the same organ, creepy organ, mm -hmm. and with the, but now with synthesizers and like you said, the ticking time bomb. The ticking song. time bomb, yeah. And I think that's my favorite, the ticking time bomb. <laughs> And it's like with this whole movie was it not only that it was like they really aimed to show that he just like with the first one yeah they showed he could survive many things but this one they really were like no he could survive fire he could shot guns he had taken about overall 12, 12 gunshots gun shots. and he still wasn't dropping dead bro Larry stroke like shot him in the eyes yeah. twice and he's over here blind, and he's still going Bro, that was wild. I was like, damn, man. No one can put it down. Nope. Even when um, he caught on fire. He caught on fire when Dr. Loomis um, got the lighter and he blew up. They yeah. blew up. And then in the fourth one, I, we will review the fourth one. We will. But we're going to say that until we do get to the fourth one. Um, next year, we will get to that one. But, um, but I love this movie so much because how you see the point of view of Michael Myers. It's How what you see point. now? Before it used, it was the, the point first of view one. Of everybody uh, else, uh, yeah, the first one was like with Laurie Strode and the uh, teens and everyone else. But the second one is mainly Michael Myers' what point of view. Sees. How he hides and how he times things, and I think I think that's why they show that that side of Michael because I think from the first one a lot of people were like, "Well, how you got here and how you get to this place to this place?" No, he's walking. He's taking his time on it. It's he, just he really where he is and he really pays attention to the details of what he does. And uh, the thing is with, uh, like, overall, was it we had the kills? Was it we had, we had from, other than what happens to Michael, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about what he does to other people. We've had stat, we've had stabs to the stomach mm -hmm. hammer to the head mm -hmm. strangulation yeah. drowning drowning yeah uh there was also one that was very creative there was one scene where uh what's the name jimmy the emt is walking around the hospital looking for mrs alves yeah and he has mrs alves the, the head nurse mm -hmm. was it strapped to a bed with the thing was it it's the IV the where, IV needle yeah it's, and it's the blood. A, it's the one where they take your blood. Yeah, the, the one, one they take their blood out. The blood's like dripping all over the floor. All over. He doesn't realize till he looks down that he's stepping. In, he's stepped in blood. Mm -hmm. He tries to walk away. Slips and goes he... unconscious. Yeah. That was really good. I that was really like, I to me it makes sense because you're at a hospital. You should reuse really hospital stuff. Like yeah, like I like how he uses the you know to cut the the skin. Yeah. The, the scalpel. The scalpel. To stab. To stab um, Dr. Loomis. Yeah. And uh, who's the other guy that he stabbed the throat? The security guard. The, no, 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 the, the cop. The sheriff. The sheriff. Yeah. Well, the second one. The deputy. Because the, sher because the sheriff the, went home. The sheriff went home. Oh, that was the marshal. Oh, the marshal. Oh, the marshal. There you go. They said yeah, they the were going to have a marshal um, send them back. Yeah, because um, the governor sent someone to take Dr. Loomis back. Yeah. And I like how Dr. Loomis is like... That dude pulls out the gun he and he's pulls like, out the marshal. <laughs> he's like, you better go back right now. <laughs> he, he's like, you really want to think? You really want to think about? You want to think about that, Doctor Loomis? He's like, here, how about I get you going? Warning shot, fire, uh, shoots the damn window. Nah, bro, Doctor Loomis is a savage, bro. <laughs> Doctor Loomis is my favorite character in this, in this, in this. He series, didn't give bro. two shits about that bro, damn marshal. He didn't even give two fucks, bro. He, he was like, he said, let's go right now. <laughs> he said, let's go right now. <laughs> I, li I like the stuff that Dr. Loomis talks about in this movie. Um, there's historical stuff that he talks about, yeah. like where is it the school on the where they investigate that has blood on the on, on the, the chalkboard, chalkboard. Yeah. and it says Sam Hain. Sam Hain. Yeah. No other than Danzig. Yeah. Where is it the original name Sam Hain? The the origin of the word the wording of the of the meaning. Yeah. The, of that. Yeah. The that it was the end of summer. The festival of what death the festival of death is um october 31st yeah that's the end of the summer october 31st and that's why he put it in the chalkboard because it's the end of 
the end of the festival. And he goes to really good details in the car that like he explains to her. He scared the shit. Like he he scared the shit out of the marshal. Yeah, Mar- he's over here. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, he's like shit. God damn, this guy <laughs> really has in depth information about <laughs> all this crazy ass shit about that the druids will burn people alive to look into the future. Yeah, I think I think that's the reason why everyone loves Halloween too, because the details of this film. The music and the character. Dr. Loomis more. You get more of Dr. Loomis on this one. I, I know there's two characters with Dr. Loomis. Who is it Donald Pleasance? Oh, yeah. Donald Pleasance who plays Dr. Loomis. Who is it? There's two characters. I think of the the President of the United States and uh, who is Escape from New York. Yeah. And I also think of Dr. Loomis. Those are the main ones I think of when I see Donald Pleasance. Yeah. He's a great guy. Rest in peace to Donald Pleasance. Donald Pleasance. Amazing actor, amazing guy. He, right. he really took that part, ser- like he took that part to heart. He did that part so many times, uh, Doctor Loomis. He did that all the way till he did. I believe the. Did he, did he reprise his role in the Rob Zombie movie? No, they changed it to the um, other guy. To the other guy. He no, there was another one. Either it was Halloween. Ends Halloween. No, he did Halloween Kills. He didn't make it to Halloween uh, Ends. No, he didn't make it to Halloween um, yeah. Ends. He did make it to Halloween Kills, I think, yeah. Yeah, he made it to that one with, uh, where he reprised his role as uh, Dr. Loomis one more time. I do like the way he looked very, like, they just wanted to make... It was just his age, but he looked very um, spooky looking, you mm-hmm. know, because he was very older. Yeah. No, but he's pretty good on this. Halloween 2 is basically one... Well, this is... One of my favorites, no, my other favorite, my big time, the number one is um, Michael Myers, um, Halloween Michael Myers, um, Revenge, Revenge of Michael, Michael Myers. Myers, Halloween 4. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite one. I can't wait to get in those details on that one. Yeah, but, we'll get, that'll be for another time. But we, by, by the end of this, bro, what do you think on the end of this review? What do you think so far of this movie? Honestly, like, what is it? So, to, my rating for this in comparison, what is it? So, being the creativeness. Mm hmm. Of bring, creating a new character now we're, now that's for part one and part two mm-hmm. but it's because Michael Myers at this time he's a new character he's yeah. just, he's the new I think there's when they start bringing the the the, per, the supernatural stuff into yeah. it yeah yeah when he and uh, he was at the creativeness the ma- was it the the music and everything mm-hmm. the the plot is solid oh yeah the it kills, stays to it the kills are great mm-hmm. and creative was it this is one of the times we get creative kills and on top of that four I gotta give it was it um, my rate it's my rating is that I will give this is a ten out of ten solid yeah this is a ten out of ten for me I love this movie this movie's very really good I love all Halloween movies. And, and to think that this was at, at the time when this came, the first one, when the first, now I'm, I'm going back to the first one, mm-hmm. when they first thought of Halloween, they thought it was only going to last for one movie. Yeah. And they did, that they were hoping, they were like, whole people, he was, what's his name, John Carpenter said, mm-hmm. I hope people really like this character. Mm-hmm. And get scared the shit out by this guy. Yeah. Because this is new, and we don't always. I really hope this works, and it worked out amazing. Amazing, it's great. It's every year. I love it. I can't like I said. Like I, I love Halloween. I'm a big Halloween fan. His, the music is number one for me. I love the music, the stories, the characters. You really get involved with these characters in these movies. To me, again, ten out of ten. I love it. Like I said, we will be doing Halloween again. We will be doing Halloween two next next Halloween. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, by the way. Yeah. We will be doing Rob Zombie Halloween 2 next Halloween because I'm sorry, guys. We've been so we've been so busy with stuff that we have in our own lives. And I know it's kind of late in the game and all that. But we really appreciate the patience and, the, and mm-hmm. really, really love that you guys are watching the videos. Um, the subscribers, we just hit 156. I hope by then... We should be hitting around 157, 158 by then. Um, to to go along, to go along. Sorry, was yeah, it to no. go along with uh, spookiness? Please check out our our, our first year of uh, ghost adventure videos. I think it was if you're into spooky stuff, you know all this creepy and dark stuff mm-hmm. like we do, was especially with horror movies. 
go check out our Ghost Adventure movies. I hope you really enjoy them. Yes, we do. We have a playlist, guys. Go on the playlist. Go check out the other stuff. Go check out the other Halloween horror movie reviews that we did last year. Yeah. Go check out those. Go check out that. We did Child's Play. We did the first Halloween. We did Halloween Kills and Ends. Yeah. We did those. Um, We did The Fog. Batch's yeah. favorite movie, The Fog. Oh, yeah. Number one, man. Batch's favorite movie. We did some John Carpenter movies as well. We did The Fog, Um, Halloween. Yeah, we did, uh, who is it? We said it that first year was our John Carpenter night. Yeah. <laughs> Back-to-back John Carpenter movies. Yes, we even did Scooby-Doo Island. I know, we did Zombie Island, guys. Sorry, guys. We did do Zombie Island. We did. I love, I give people like, hey, you did Scooby-Doo Zombie Island? I was like, yeah, we did. We did that already. Yeah. Go, but go check those out, guys. Go check it out. But like I said, I we want to wish you a happy Halloween. We hope everyone's safe out there. And like I said, guys, we um we really appreciate everything you do. Please press a like. Please comment down below and let us know what's your favorite horror movie yeah. or what's your favorite Halloween. Spe- it could be a Halloween special horror movie or John Carpenter movie. Let us know in the comment down below. But like I said, my name is Mr. Dark Light. I'm Bash of Bash and Brains. And we see you guys next time, guys. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, guys.